Hey everyone, this is Melvin from CODUtility.com and I'm going to give you guys another tutorial for the Black Ops 2 mod tools. And this is for, uh, this is a Radiant tutorial at the moment, but this is a Black Ops 2 mapping modding tutorial series that I'm doing. This will be the fourth in the series. Um, in this one here, we're going to do some context menu stuff that I promised you last time. I'll do that right away. And then we're going to also do work with some curve patches, uh, patch primitives, uh, making prefabs. We're going to work with prefabs and then we're going to also make a sort of model in a sense, a uh, prefab. And uh, we're going to show you guys how to do that. So let's get right to it so we don't waste any time. Okay, so here you will see... Um, uh, where is it here? Uh, we need to go to View. We need to toggle. And we're going to go to the Entity Browser. Okay, so uh, again, View, Toggle, Entity Browser is with the B key. Uh, now here you can see here all the stuff here. You can go down the list, find a whole bunch of stuff. And all you have to do really is right-click on it, toggle the favorites, and that will add it to your right click toggle or you right click context menu in the bottom section here so all of these items here have been added through here including this here zm uh, basic metal barrier 2 this is one we're using for crims map and uh, as you can see when we need it it's right there pop and we got it in the map so if you want to put it in the map we just go like that and boom it pops in um, so it's really simple uh, to use and uh, big convenience okay on to the next thing so we can make this move a little bit faster if we can Okay, so we're going to select this here. We're going to go to the top-down view. We're going to make sure that we're in the 8 unit grid with, by pressing 4. And then we're going to go up to uh, Patch. We're going to go to Curve. We're going to go to, uh, sorry, Patch, Curve, and go to Simple Curve Patch. We're just going to make this 3 by 5 for now. Um, and hit OK. Okay, so now as you see, it turns into a simple patch. There's so a lot of things you can do with Curve Patches. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to bring up the uh, V key. And then we're going to select a bunch of verts and we're going to move them out just a little bit. And then we're going to hit the rotate key. And we're going to actually, in the 2D window here, grab one of the verts and we're just going to rotate it till it's 90 degrees. Oh, that's a little bit much. Okay, and then we're going to hit the, the R key again to take off um, the rotation. And then we're going to uh, hold down Alt and drag the verts to say, oh, let's go one more. Bring it over here, right here. I'm going to bring it right to here. Now we're going to group select these ones here, and we're going to bring these down to get a little bit more of a circle. And you can see there, this is a little bit wider. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this here, and we're going to rotate these ones here as well. We're going to do this at a 45-ish degree angle, and that should be good. Okay, so now we've got our path here, and you can, I mean, you can play with this a little bit to get it more even. And take just this one here, maybe, uh, sorry, just this one here. Again, with Alt, drag it out just a little bit more, maybe one more. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we've got our pathway, there's lots of things we can do with this. So for now, I'm just going to take this one here and I'm going to control C, control V for later. So I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, actually, we're going to show this one here. Um, so what you can do with this is you can turn this right away. You can see how you've got verts here and you can't get to these verts. So if you want to blend this into a, a pathway or you've got a certain purpose for this and it's now filling that, all you have to do to turn it into a regular patch is go up to patch, go to terrain, or sorry, go to curve and, to, and go to uh, curve to terrain. So again, patch, curve, then curve to terrain. And you'll see when you hit the V key again, all of these verts are now uh, usable and fully maneuverable. You can do lots of stuff like this, like hold down shift and left click and you'll collect the whole row. And you can hit alt O like we did before. And you can bring that down and you can bring it back into the model. And you can sit here and you can, I mean, you can literally line this up so that it, it matches perfectly the model and move all of these around like this uh, when you want to thicken something or you can do it um, like this which is uh, select the curve patch well it's still a curve patch and then hit Control shift t and this will thicken it you can pick any amount you want say eight let's try eight and you see it goes back down on Control z to bring that back down and you hit Control shift t again to do it and we'll try 128 and then you'll see that uh it does whatever you want, as you can see there. So if you go under the ground, you'll see the patch is quite thick. And so this allows you to do all sorts of things. And this will allow you to um, lick the walls in Radtown and, and, and as such. So if you, sh if you fit all your stuff in state of the grid, you can make complex curved walls and all sorts of structures uh, quite easily. So, okay, let's let's really quickly, let's, uh, let's do one more real quick here. Um, we're gonna go over here just real quick and we're gonna make a square. Just a, well, 24 units is fine. And we're going to hit the uh, Alt tab, and we're going to make sure that's 24 units high. And what we're going to do is uh, actually we're going to make it 16 units high. Uh, 
Actually, you know what? We're going to make it 12 units high because I'm being a fool right now. Um, and we'll show you why we're doing that in a second here. Okay, so when we uh, select this here and we go to patch, we go to primitives, we can go to cone. Oh, sorry, wrong window. Um, looking down from the top, go to patch, primitives, go to cone, and you'll see we've created a, a cone. Now we can hit the V key. We can grab this here, just this one vert here, uh, hitting the one unit, and we can bring that down so it's a little bit more rounded. Uh, we can hit shift, uh, right bracket, right square bracket, and you'll see we'll start to divide the, the object. Okay. We can actually bring this, well, it's still in the thing. We'll control a lot of verts this way by, in a sense, going like such. Now we can take this here. I don't know if that's so. Okay, let's go a little bit more, maybe. Um, yeah, a little bit more. So you can shape this. And I'm just going to give you a quick example, but you can actually make a sphere, a perfect sphere. And so what you do is just go Control C, Control V, rotate this one here on the four, again on the four, or number four, the eight grid, and you just rotate that so it's down, go like so. I hit the R key. So you take the rotation off and then just move it down. Probably need the one unit here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So when you see it here, you've got like an oval shape. You can take this in, in shape of what any way you want, really. Um, yeah, maybe go up a little bit like so. Uh, take all these ones around here. A little bit like so. And get the point, right? So you can take the... Now, now that you've got these two um, sides... You can actually go and select the bottom one, select the top one, hit W, and they're now welded together. And you won't see any seams there anymore. Now, you will have to use a surface inspector up over here uh, to fix the textures. But as you can see, a fully rounded shape in patch, and uh, it's great. You can also cut this if you want to. So you can uh, select those, Control, Shift, and X. We'll cut it down the line, and you've got, again, two halves. Okay, so that's a little trick you can use, and I use that to make lamps and all sorts of things, uh, details, you know, you can take this here, um, and uh, this can be stretched down, you know, like, there's lots of different things you can do with it, you can probably build missiles and bombs and all sorts of things if you, uh, if you really wanted to. So yeah, as you can see here, you can start to build like a, a missile shell or something. Okay, uh, did I move that out? I, yeah, I've got that off shape, and I don't know why that is. There it is. Okay, so yeah, you see, if you wanted to uh, grab that, grab that, and again hit W, it's still gonna weld. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna delete that, and uh, I think we've covered uh, patches and primitive patches at least for now. We can try. Actually, what we should try is uh, one more thing as well, and I think this is getting on now. So, um, hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll leave the I'll leave the curbs till we get into making actual sidewalks and stuff. Um, okay, so we'll do a little more patch primitives in the next video. Um, let's make a prefab. Okay, so we're gonna go to the top down view, and uh, we're gonna create on the four, uh, hit the number four, and then on the uh, eight unit grid, we're gonna create a sixteen by sixteen unit. You see, it's right there, and we're gonna go and look at it from the side. We're gonna make that about twenty four units high, say. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to save, take this here, and we're actually going to go to the top down, and we're going to drag that over to the zero zero mark. Okay, so once this is in the zero zero, that's perfectly centered. We're going to right click on this. We're going to go to prefab, and we're going to uh, save select as new prefab. Uh, we're going to go into here where I've already created a tutorial underscore prefabs folder inside of the underscore prefabs folder, and uh, we're going to save it as tele underscore poll. And we're going to replace it because it doesn't matter. We're going to build it again. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this this here block and we're going to place it wherever we want. And this is a real good way to cheat. Uh, now, this block could be way higher or whatever, but you know this is going to be a telephone pole. You can just create a long block, place it where you want when you're doing your gray blocking. You find out, okay, ooh, somewhere maybe, say there. Okay, yeah, that's where it's going to sit. Actually, let's go a little bit more. It's going to go right about there because it's going to be right in the middle of, the, of this. Nah, no, no, yeah, let's put it right there. So it's right on the end of the sidewalk. Okay, so anyways, nothing decisive. Just let's right click on this, select prefab, select uh, enter prefab. Now you can see the model here, or what will soon be a model. You're going to take this, and you're going to go to the top down uh, view of it, and you're going to go up to here to patch, begin to primitives, and you're going to go to cylinder. Now what that's going to do is again turn this item into a cylinder and you can drag this up as tall as you want. Let's make this like 224 units. 
we'll go to textures we'll type in wood and we'll go all the way down somewhere into here see if we can find a decent wood texture uh let's see here. that might work let's see how that works using j key you can hide the uh um your wire mesh so you can natural that's not so much what we want that will work for now okay so yeah that will work for now okay so uh we're going to take this here and we're going to use to keep the same textures so we're all in use and that's the only texture we're going to use for now so what we're going to do is again go back to the 2d grid and we're going to look from the top down and we're going to go to the two grid uh, which is the number two key and we're just going to go over um over here sorry like so we're just going to drag this out block i'm going to drag this out so it's a considerable distance from the side here oh a little bit too much like that and we're going to bring this all the way up to the top i'm going to grab the top arrow and we're going to bring that down a little bit uh, it could be a little bit wider so i'm going to zoom out on the 2d pull this out just a little bit more Again, staying with the two in size. Okay. And uh, we're going to grab this here and just do a quick, uh, again, hit J to bring up our wire. Uh, and then we're going to uh, rotate this 90. Okay. So now we got that done. We can take this here. We can go Control C, Control V, bring this down like so. Grab the top one with the select left click. And Control C, Control V. And on this, on this here, we can just slide this over to the other side. And now we have a uh, telephone pole. Okay, so you can also cap uh, cylinders. This is a good uh, thing to do. Hold, it, select the cylinder, left uh, shift, left click, and then hit shift C, and you'll see there that the, the uh, cylinder has been capped at the top and at the bottom. Remember, if the thing goes through the ground, you do not need one on the bottom, so you can hit this one and delete it. Okay, so that's a telephone pole right there in a certain way. And what you can also do on here is select this pole, this line here, to make sure you've got a certain thickness, and then you're just going to come over here and create. A, uh, a two by two unit brush. You're gonna go over here, pull it up one. Uh, let's stretch that out to two. Okay, so now you're just gonna go back to the 2D and go over here to here, like so. Grab the other one, Control C, Control V. You're gonna drag it with your left mouse. Oh, went a little bit too far. Drag with the left mouse. Oh, my bad. Control Z to undo that. Drag it out. Just what one unit from the edge. Let's use one unit from the edge. Let's select these ones here. Uh, and we'll uh, again control C, control V, bring this over here. Select the first four again. And a lot of selecting again. This is a, a time saver. And so you can bring these ones down. And now you've got all of them. Select the first uh, eight again. And then go up to uh, textures. And we're going to look for something that's metal. Hit the all. You see up and we'll look something dark uh, so let's look for something a little bit dark to find something that will work just for now you won't be able from the, that height you won't be able to see it anyways but just an example you can make it dark and you can see what i'm saying and you can even make each one of these cylinders by going to the top down and just again go into patch um primitives hit cylinder and it's going to look like a cylinder and if you do you can't the one thing is you won't be able to do multiples at the same time so you will have to do it i mean maybe i should have done that at the very beginning but uh i think you get the point and so you go again select one go to patch go to primitives click cylinder and then you can drag them all out like i did before and you will be able to grab these like this Control c Control v and move them wherever you want you know okay and you can also again on these things here shift and right bracket will when you have them all selected even um allow you to make them um i would subdivide them okay so for this here we kind of got where we're going we're going to uh, go into this prefab oh, before we leave we're going to select this is a prefab that is not structural we're going to select everything with i we're going to right click on it and we're going to make a detail make detail boom and you'll see that the, the colors have changed okay so um we're going to now right click on this go to prefab and go to uh leave prefab and it's come up do you want to save it and you're going to say yes Okay, we've got the location, and there you go. You've got a telephone pole now in the map. And again, this is a simplified telephone pole. You're going to want to spend more than 10 minutes on it. 
or 15 minutes or, or whatever but uh you've literally now learned how to use curved patches regular patches brushes um how to thicken patches and a whole bunch of stuff which will be very useful uh when we start getting into building our map okay so thanks so much for checking out this tutorial i hope you guys uh i hope you guys love it like it at least if you like it click the like button if you uh, want to see more make sure you subscribe we're going to try and get into this stuff i don't want to go too fast but at the same time i don't want to make you guys wait forever to get the info so i'm going to try and break these down a little bit more um it's been a while and this is a little more detailed than it used to be in world of war so we'll get to this stuff and uh we'll do it as fast as we can my upload's slow again so you know anyways the more i talk the longer it's going to be to get it all online so We'll see you guys again uh, next time, and thanks for checking out the, uh, the vid. Peace.